Today, we will learn about Excel for genealogy. I'm your trainer, Lori Coffey. This is not a Pinterest version where you will only see examples of databases you might try to re recreate. This is America's test kitchen version where you'll learn to think through your options to make the exact database that meets your specific needs. And we'll show you some examples along the way. In my career as a computer trainer, I've taught Excel to thousands of people, including Microsoft employees and even Lotus employees, the makers of Excel's biggest competitor, which is now out of business because Excel is so good. Some of you may know already that I'm not a numbers person. Why should I use Excel? Because it not only makes me look like I'm a numbers person, it also helps me to tame the data I use in my family tree research. So don't worry if you are new to Excel or if you are an Excel power user. <laughs> Today we will learn something new. Isn't that funny? I love that one. <laughs> How to use Excel specifically for genealogical purposes. Was Excel created for genealogy? Hardly. Although people found unplanned uses for it all the time. My mother used it to create a newsletter. One of our PGS members used it to create a shopping map of her grocery store. Such creativity and flexibility with this program. So never stop thinking about how you can use it. Excel was, however, created for data. Analyzing data, sharing data, managing data. Guess what? Genealogy is all about data. <laughs> In fact, I call my family tree my family database. So it makes sense to use Excel to analyze, share, and manage your family data to help you keep more informed decisions. Data is simply a collection of information. In 1066, my ancestor, English King William the Conqueror, conducted the first complete census of everyone living in England. Known as the Doomsday Book, that was a database. But raw data is practically useless. It only becomes knowledge when we can arrange it to see the questions we want answered. For example, who cares about every household in England? We want to know where did our family live? Then it becomes useful information. Why would we use Excel when we have Ancestry or Family Tree Maker or other programs to store our family data? While you can use Excel to make a family tree, that's really not the best use of it. So let's look at better ways to use Excel for genealogy. Stick to other programs to store your family tree data. Use Excel to manipulate some of the data to answer your questions. That's what we'll be talking about today. For example, a database to keep track of all your lineage societies when you joined and when the dues are due all the early arrival immigrants we researched based on the ship they came on with proven ancestors highlighted in yellow, all descendants of a specific ancestor for a family reunion highlighted in green if they had progeny, to track your request for government vitals, and don't even get me started on DNA. Its uses in Excel are massive. Some of these features can be found in the free app, Google app called Sheets. You just need a Gmail account to find it, but I'll stick to the powerhouse Excel. Today's topics cover the basics of Excel that you likely had to learn on your own and rules for database lists so you can create them correctly right from the start. Then Pinterest type ideas for family data spreadsheets with specific Excel power user tips on how to build them and how to improve them. We'll end with formulas to crunch numbers and importing data from websites, and a little bit on printing. <laughs>